Hi everyone, today I'm going to do one of my neck bone recipes and this is going to be the slow cooker recipe. If you've tried it, you already know, honey, okay? So these are my pork neck bones. All you need is a little oil, that's optional, and you need your secret ingredient, which is our beef flavored broth base and seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna get my neck bones prepared so we can season them up and put them in our slow cooker. Okay, so I coated my neck bones. Again, just a little oil and your seasoning. The seasoning does have sodium in it. If you've tried it, you already know how much to use. But if you've never tried it, just go light first and then you can, you know, take it up a notch, you know, once you see how it tastes, okay? So all you need to do is put them in the crock pot. Don't add anything else to this pot, okay? And I'm gonna show you something. I can't make this up. It takes you literally less than five minutes to put this together, add it into your crock pot, honey, and just push start, okay? So when I come back, I'm gonna show you all this tender meat. You don't have to do nothing to it. Just set it and let it go and go on about your day. All right, now my neck bones are about 25 minutes from being done, so now it's time to start making my sides. So here I have a pot of chicken broth only with some bay leaf. Uh-oh, no seasoning. So I'm going to add in my cut potatoes. We're going to do some mashed potatoes, okay? And we're going to do some zucchini. So first we're going to put on our potatoes, and once those are done, we'll go ahead and make our vegetables. All right, my potatoes are just about done. So here I have a skillet with some oil in it. I'm going to add some butter. And I'm going to add some of my collard green seasoning, okay? So whenever you hear me say green seasoning, this is what I'm talking about, <laughs> but I'm out, okay? I love, love, love this flavor for my vegetables. It's just really, really good. So I'm gonna add a little bit here. Uh oh, sorry you all. I'm gonna add a little bit here. So we can go ahead and saute our vegetables. We'll add a little bit more once we start cooking our zucchini. So I'm gonna cook my vegetables until they are al dente before we add in our zucchini. I wish you all could smell this. It's just, uh, I can't even describe this aroma right now. So my vegetables are ready for me to go ahead and add in this zucchini. And you can do this with any vegetable that you like. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna toss it around a bit. We have some butter in this pan. Feel free to add more if you like, or you could just use the oil, whatever works best for you. I'm going to get that flavor tossed around with our veggies. I'm going to turn the heat down to a medium low, and I'm going to cover it. Now, if you like to add some, some uh, moisture to your pan, water, I'm probably going to add maybe a little dash of my chicken broth. Not much, okay? I just want to have a little moisture in there. I'm going to cover this pan and let it cook until my zucchini is done. All right, now my potatoes are done. So I'm just gonna mash them down. Then I'm gonna add in some butter. I'm gonna add in a little bit of my heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic. I like that flavor in my potatoes. And I'm gonna add in some of my parsley. And the parsley is just for the color. I don't like just white potatoes. <laughs> so we're just gonna whip this up. And here are my potatoes. So you just wanna make yours to the consistency that you like, okay? So now we are going to finish up our veggies and I'm going to plate the food. Let me go ahead and show you all these neck bones that are done. And here are my neck bones. When I tell you all these neck bones are falling off the bone, I gave them a stir. As, it, as you can see, the meat is just coming off. It's so tender. But I'm going to make a plate so that you all can just see um, the plating. And yeah, we'll be done. You definitely need to try this. Now, let's put this plate together. And I just want to encourage you to think about plating, you all. It's not that you have to be the best at plating. You just need to care, you know, care how your plate looks, okay? So let's get us a scoop of mash. 
and I want to put a little indention in that. And so I'm going to use my smaller scoop and kind of just put a little indention there because we're going to put some gravy in those mashed potatoes. Let's add some vegetables. And with your zucchini, just turn it off when it's almost done. That way it doesn't overcook your veggies, okay? So let's add us some, some of our vegetables there. And now we're gonna add on our meat. But first I am going to wipe my plate. I need it to be clean looking, honey. Okay. Now I'm going to try to grab some that's not falling apart. Because, honey, when I tell you these things are falling apart, they falling apart. Let's see if I can find another one that's still together. Oh, the meat is just so tender. Let's see if we can find another little piece. Oh, man. Look at that. Let's turn it over though. Okay, well that one's not cooperating, but it's okay. Now we're gonna add some of our juice. Now, let me show you all this. I told you that <clears throat> these make their own juice. Remember I told you don't add nothing? Look at all that juice down there. Look at all the juice. We didn't add any juice. You don't have to add beef beef uh, broth, water, nothing. This is all the juice that your meat made on its own, okay? So if you try my recipe, you know it works. So let's add this, honey, right in our little pocket there and all on our meat. Yes, just like that. <laughs> just like that. Look at that. And I'm gonna wipe my plate. And I'll take a picture and post it for you all. So there it is. Easy dinner idea. Remember, you can do beef neck bones. These neck bones, so tender, honey. They are so, so, so tender. They just come off right at the bone. Look. Right at the bone. Look at that. All right. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Let's see another little glimpse. We got our potatoes. Okay, and we have our veggies. Look at that. You all enjoy your day.